Oh my god, guys, I don't know if you can see me right now. It's really bright, I think, but good morning and welcome to today's episode. We're off for breakfast earlier than most days because we wanted to get a nice early start to today. So we're going to the place Marmalade that we wanted to go to yesterday, but it was closed. And it's right here around the corner from our flat, so that's perfect. I slept good last night. I felt refreshed when I woke up, even though I woke up earlier. Still felt really good. Again, beautiful. I, I, guys, if you're from Brighton, are we, have we just been like the luckiest people ever on this vacation with the weather? Is this normal for Brighton? Like, it's beautiful every single day. London, it was like cloudy and raining every day. Here, it's gorgeous. So like, I don't know if it's normal for here and London is always raining. Cause I know London's known for like its gloomy weather. It's often raining and cloudy there, but is Brighton the same or is it usually different? I don't know. It makes sense that it's windy though, cause it's right on the ocean. So that was pretty expected, but the heat, like it's hot with the sun and the clear skies is amazing. Other than that rain we had for like half an hour the other day, it hasn't rained at all. What's up? Not much you? Not much. Look at the ambiance of this cute little cafe. Yeah, you want to put it on the chair? Safe. Yeah, I think she said there were jugs there you could just take. It's so cute here. They have a lot of good bread, freshly baked stuff. So this is the marina down here. This is where we came to do our groceries, right there at the grocery store, but there's sailboats all parked over there. Very cool. I think I remember her saying there was like a gym, a community center, like a whole bunch of things down here. And then over there it looks like houses, like little flats or condos where people can actually park their boat beside their house. I'll show you guys when we get there. Well, this is what I'm talking about. It's pretty scary because it's really far down, but you can tell that people can go right up to their house with their boat. Super, super cool. There's like boat parks everywhere. You can just park them. Super sweet. There's even more here. There's so many of them. Their house is like everywhere. I'm trying to block the wind too. Wow, it's so cool. Guys, look how cute all the cows. Moo! Hello, Mr. Cows. Look at that, the black and white one. Oh, he's so cute. He just wants to say hello. He's so cute. He's like, hey, what's up? I'm brown. Oh, they're so cute. I love them. Look at the black and white ones. They're like commercial cows. I just wish they could be free. They are free. I mean, they do have a better home then. They look pretty happy to me. And look, he's there to get out of the fence. Because he heard me go, <laughs> We found a path down to the beach. Oh, that looks like it might be a bathroom. Wait, oh, okay, I didn't see the stairs on the left. I thought this was a dead end. Yeah. It's so windy. Oh, there's two puppies down there. This is a cool staircase. Oh, I see them. Hi, puppies. Hello. <laughs> Making our way down. Made it. Oh yeah, look. People are eating. Garages. Yeah, like little huts. Oh, here. Yeah. You are here. So it's right there. It's in the building, probably. To the right. There's also no lifeguard service today, so be careful. Look at those guys. Oh, I'm like running. Oh, there's one just sitting in the water out there. <laughs> so we made it up to the windmill. Very cool. What's up? Looking good. <laughs> Looking fresh. The pug just came right up to me. I saw that. She was so cute. She just came <laughs> right up to me. And I was like, Look at how beautiful this little town is, though. Just east of Brighton. Oh, more cows up there on the I hill. I love the hills. Yeah, it's They're gorgeous. So and I want to go up there, but there's people taking wedding photos, and I don't want to disrupt them. Why just sit on this bench? Just go stand right in front of them. <laughs> Wow, look how cool this thing is. I love windmills. Hot stuff. Hot stuff. Hot stuff. <laughs> what are you Wait. doing? <laughs> Wait, hold it open like that. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> what? 
What are you doing, you weirdo? He's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <sick> <laughs> <laughs> and my legs are so hairy. <laughs> yeah. I want to see what that looks like. Okay, we'll say bye to the windmill, guys. Bye. <laughs> Here, look. So on the walk back to our flat, we decided to take the low route, the low rata, at the bottom of the cliffs, along the side of the water. It's beautiful. Well, he said it's, what did he say it was? Fleet. Well, like the black line through the middle was fleet. I think that's a type of rock. Well, look up ahead, you can see there's like, yeah, he said it's fleet. It's cool. Look, now we get a different view of the marina. We saw it from up top, now we get to see it from down low. We're just hoping that we can actually make it through over here on this path and that we didn't have to go like that way or something. Wow. Cute little boats. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks like it connects, we should be good. Look at the swans, guys. They're so beautiful. Haven't seen those yet since we've been here. Those are so cute. Have a good swim, buddies. Wow, look at all these freaking houses with boats. So cool. Just pull your boat up right to your house. Hop out, go inside. We're almost there. We're going to the grocery store on our way back, and then we're gonna have lunch back at the flat. All right, guys, we're off to live that pub lifestyle. Party Central here in Brighton. We're going out to party. Party! Yeah. Maybe AKA we'll have dinner and be home by nine. Yeah, well, maybe tonight we'll, you know. Oh. Careful. Tonight we'll have to do it like, Did you get that? Yeah, maybe, maybe it'll be 9.30. That's late for us. Yeah. I, I just casually tried to steal a bike. <laughs> Look at what Alex is wearing. She's so cute. They're both wearing their vintage leather jackets. I'm wearing Alex's. Yes. Cuties. I love the story of the, well I don't know the story of it, but I love the fact this is like an actual aviation jacket. Yeah, it's cool. And maybe it like lived through war. That'd be kind of cool. World War II. That's cool. Sunset is beautiful tonight. It's not as cloudy as the last sunset we saw, so it looks even better. Let's see. Wow. Let's see the pier out there. Beautiful. Minus all this construction that's in the way. <laughs> Look at the rays of sunshine coming through the top of the clouds. Looks so cool. So I'm guessing that you can just park whatever direction you want around here. Because yeah, like I they park they park both ways. You would get a huge ticket if we did that back home. No, but I guess here you just park wherever, which is cool. It gives you more possibilities. Wow, the pier looks so nice at night. It's cool. So many birds flying around at night too. Like, look over there. They're all over the place. Yeah, I don't want them to poop on us. Well, that's weird. That guy's watching like seductive videos in his apartment. <laughs> Why wouldn't you close the blinds? Two women watching seductive movies. Getting ready for a night out. Well, in their defense, it could have just been a regular movie with like a scene in it. You know, that happens often. Where like you're watching a regular movie and then there's like a sex scene or like a hot girl scene. And like someone walks in and they're like, what are you watching? <laughs> and you're like, uh, a movie? <laughs> so it took us a few pubs to find one open with space, but we found one. Very cool. I like that you can see the uh, the flowers out there in the back. Oh, it's on manual. There we go. Automatic focus. That's what I wanted. Gorgeous out there. Very cool atmosphere. I like it. I feel bad. I'm filming all these random people. So I tried to get like the most English pub type thing I could think of. Yeah. It, I got sausage with it's mustard mash and like a few little vegetables in there with a gravy. Some chips on the side. Oh, and there's Viv's food. Oh my god. Some real fish and chips. And mushy peas. Oh, so good. Guys, I'm not even kidding. This is the best meal I've had in England. It is so unbelievably good. Oh my god. The mashed potato has like Dijon mustard in it. The gravy is unbelievably good. So, 
I think it's safe to assume we like our food. I think that's a safe assumption. It's gone, completely. So we haven't come this far uh, west since we've been here and it actually looks really nice. That tower thing's cool at night too. Oh, there's like a mall, I think. I'm assuming that's a mall or maybe a movie theater. I don't know. Okay guys, so we're gonna do a question of the day because we just got to our hotel here. And the question of today comes from MJLegit97, as I always say, awesome name. The question is for Alex's mom, Vivian, and it's what is your favorite thing about Alex and Dan? Everything, right? I mean, I don't know if it's, I have a few favorite things. I mean, there's a lot of things that I like, but one thing that I like a lot is how you guys like to do a lot of the same things and how I joke a lot how you like a uh, you know, middle-aged couple already. <laughs> but you both like that, and you have a lot of the same tastes. You're very different in a lot of ways, but in that way, I, re I really like that, how you, you know, and you spend time together and yeah. laugh and giggle and have a good time, so. That's good. I like that. Time Thank you. Out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very good answer. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're gonna get started on our day here back in London, so if you guys wanna see that, make sure you check out tomorrow's video. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.